from day two. I hope you all are fine and safe at your homes. I hope you have done with the reading of unit four two times. Now we are going towards the comprehension exercise. Match and write correct sentences in your notebook. Michael, his brother, and his mother blow on their potatoes. Their potatoes were cool, so they enjoyed eating them. Michael's father ate quickly, so he burned his mouth. Michael's mother, sorry, he did not notice how they cold their food. Michael's mother and father were teachers. When he was little, he lived near some builders. Move to the page, next page, page number thirty. Word reading and spelling. A suffix is an extra part at the end of a word. The suffix er is often used for worker and members of a family. Suffix means the word which we add at the end of a word. Suffix does not have their own meanings. Read the words. Every day, label the pictures. Now the words are given here. Words with suffix er are given here. You have to read these words and fill these blanks. You have to label the pictures over here. Complete true sentences about the pictures with word from the box. Means this box: mother, father, brother, sister. Teacher, builder, carpenter, and painter. You have to fill these words in these blanks. You will read these lines and fill the blanks over here. Move to the next page, page number thirty-one. Here are some words in the phonic box. You will read these words and then solve this exercise. Complete and copy the the sentences using these sound over here. Copy the sentences in your notebook. You have to fill these sounds over here in all these blanks. Match the rhyming words. Circle five words that rhyme with two. You will match the rhyming words two two food. Rude, blue, true, rule, cool, new, grew. Now the next part of the question is circle five words that rhyme with two. Means two, blue, grew, true, and two. Move towards page number thirty-two. Grammar and punctuation. Remember, a comma separates word in a list. Example: Yesterday I ate rice, dal, peas, meat, and potatoes. When we have the list of the same things, we use comma to make them separate. Rice, dal, peas, meat, and potatoes. These all are the eatable things. So we use comma to make them separate. Write the commas in the in these lists. Complete C and D with list using these words. These words: fridge, TV, cooker, sofa, armchair, sink, showcase, saucepan. we have we will use comma in uh, line number a and b and then we will write uh, the words from the box in line c and d in my garden i have pink comma red comma blue comma 
yellow, comma, and orange flower. In my bedroom, there is a bed, comma, bookcase, comma, table, comma, and cupboard. In line C, in my living room, there is a TV, comma, sofa, comma, and armchair. In my kitchen, there is a saucepan, comma, showcase, comma, cooker, comma, fridge, comma, and sink. A noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. Example, teacher, Nasreen, Lahore, house, potato, plate. Noun is a name of any person, place, or thing. Okay? A verb, verb is a doing word. Verb is an action word which shows what the noun is doing. For example, eat, put, blow. List the verbs and noun in the box use commas. These are some noun and verbs. You have to write it in appropriate column and use the comma. Nouns are, we have the nouns potato, fork, comma, mouth, comma, eyes, comma, hands. And verbs are eat, comma, put, comma, flap, comma, pop, comma, blows. Try to do the practice of noun and verbs at your home and remember these suffixes okay this is your home task that you have to do the practice of noun and verbs at your homes thank you for listening grade 2 allah hafiz